Welcome to this clinical skills video tutorial for hall technique placement of a preformed metal crown. Use of a preformed metal crown placed using the hall technique may be a suitable restoration for a primary molar. Please see other educational material for detailed indications and contraindications. Informed consent should be gained by showing the crown to the child and parent. Attention should be paid to the visibility of the crown. Iron Man Teeth and Princess Crowns are fun names for children that can help gain their cooperation. Separators, tiny elastic bands, are used to widen the contact point between teeth and allow crown seating. They can be placed 24 hours beforehand, up to two weeks before the crown fitting. However, they are generally placed between three to five days prior to the appointment. Separators can be placed by three methods. The first and most common, using floss. Alternatively, you can use separator forceps, shown here, or a pair of mosquito forceps. Before placement, it can be helpful to tell the child that the band will feel like a bit of apple skin stuck between their teeth. We will demonstrate the most commonly used method, which is floss. Put two pieces of floss through the separator as shown. Ensure you have enough floss to wrap around your fingers and hold tension. When pulled, the band becomes taut and thin, allowing interproximal seating. Tension on the separator should be maintained throughout. It is important that the uppermost part of the separator stays above the contact point. If it slips below, it will be less effective and can be difficult to remove. If using floss, gently remove this after insertion. A second band is often needed to widen both contact points. However, there may already be spacing, in which case a second separator may not be needed. Advise the parent to contact the clinic if the separators fall out before the crown fitting appointment. At the next visit, the separators can easily be removed with a bald ended probe or a spoon excavator. Before fitting the crown, get the child to practice biting down or growling like a tiger. To help size the crowns, you can measure the mesial distal width of the tooth with a perio probe. Using this measurement, you can pick the crown using the crown size guides available on clinic. Starting with a mid-size 4 and moving up or down as required can also be helpful. On the buckle side of the crown, you will find a reference for its tooth, its size and its location. Patient preparation is extremely important. The child should be in an upright position with gauze entirely protecting the airway. Explain to the child you are trying on the crown for size, just like trying on a pair of shoes. When checking the fit, the crown should not be fully seated, as removal could be difficult and uncomfortable. Spring back should be felt at the point of maximum width. Half fill the crown with a low viscosity GIC looting cement. Encourage it up all sides with a flat plastic. Warn the child the glue can taste a bit salty. Place the crown onto the tooth, applying firm pressure with your thumb. Instruct the patient to bite hard on a cotton wool roll. You can then remove the cotton wool and ask the patient to bite again. Remove excess cement with gauze, a micro brush or gently rinse with a 3-in-1. Use a probe to ensure there is no excess cement in the sulci. The preform metal crown should cover all visible coronal enamel. A small change in the occlusion is expected. Observe and document any changes in OVD. Warn that the crown is likely to feel high in the bite for approximately two weeks and may feel strange for a few days. 